Um, my question, and this is the Doug question, and in part it's from my own experience with homelessness in 2014. And my question is this, given that 7,000 people became homeless on Oahu last year, and on top of that, this year's pandemic uh, has thrown so many people out of work, what can you do as a legislator to prevent people from becoming homeless? Right. Well, you know, as you know, the, the judiciary, the governor have proclamations that extend up until the end of August. Um, and then what happens, right? I was actually just on a training call for pro bono attorneys. Um, the call was led by um, Legal Aid and I think Volunteer Legal Services Hawaii um, to train attorneys on how to help um, tenants in, in through these proceedings for eviction, which obviously we want to keep them from getting to that stage. Um, in my, one of my mailers that I mailed to our community at the onset of this pandemic, when people were losing their jobs, I laid out arguments for to landlords basically to say why they shouldn't try to evict people when they can't pay. Um, not just because of the moratorium on evictions, but because of the reality of, of the matter is that there's, a, so as I walked around like four months later and met with landlords, they have so many vacant um, units because people are just consolidating their households now. Um, so it's not like evicting people is going to bring you in any money. Um, and I mentioned earlier on, we need to expand our Section 8 so that everyone gets housing based on what their financial abilities are. And it's all temporary because Section 8 if one day you're making nothing and the next week, next you know, month you're making $5,000, well then you're gonna, it's gonna change immediately. So Section 8 is very responsive. So that model can be used, um, you know, and it's already there as a template to keep people from slipping into homelessness. Uh, and in fact, you know, I, I, I recommend to a lot of landlords, um, as you know, I'm a landlord, um, and I recommend to a lot of landlords that this is a, a great opportunity because there's been a lot of discrimination against Section 8 tenants. But this is a great opportunity because their rents are basically guaranteed. You know, like if a tenant isn't able, can, if they can pay their portion and maybe their portion is 500 a month or whatever, uh, but then something happens to them, like they lose their job, uh, then Section 8 will kick in and make sure that their difference is covered. Um, so we need more of that. We need more of that to make sure that we, d we aren't, uh, 7,000 people slipping into homelessness is not acceptable. Absolutely, we've been failing, we've been failing on that.